All right, let's go time. The Bond Master and His Maiden, Chapter One. Gotta fix my hair first. All right. Ew, it looks really bad. Chapter One. It was a cold day, a rainy day, but a beautiful day nonetheless, as the air of the world held a soft flavor of hope in it. I was out in the back, moving the last of the hay inside before the storm coarsened. I had spent months at Moonlight Ranch as part of a simple community service project. But time had passed me by, and I felt myself growing attached to this mystical wonderland. Another month and I would be gone back to Memphis, resigned to my job teaching elementary school children basic arithmetic. I can't quite put my finger on why I loved the place. All I knew was that I belonged there for the rest of my life. And then there was Gary, the farmhand who worked there full time and lived his life as a real cowboy. Oh, Gary. Sweet decadence was his name if I ever saw anything like it. He had well muscled arms, a lean tan body, dark brown hair that barely grazed his mischievous green eyes, and the face of an angel. The first time I saw him outside, shirtless and reaping the field, I knew that he was my man. I just didn't know how to go about befriending such an ethereal creature. We would pass each other on occasion, and he would nod, whispering a simple hello. My face would immediately burst into a rosy pigness that only a baby's bottom could be, and I'd promptly say hello back, if only a little bit loudly. Well, as I'll continue my story, I was lugging the hay back as quickly as I could. However, a five-foot-two woman can hardly lift anything her weight, much less something a little bit taller than herself. So I was heaving hard as the cold rain continued to beat down on me. All of a sudden, the white was instantly lifted as I saw those familiar biceps do their job. Gary had lifted the entire bale overhead. I was stunned by his strength and beauty. We continued to work in silence. I was more just watching him than doing work. After the last of the hay had been moved, I turned around and found him breathless and panting. What's wrong, Gary? I asked him, concerned that harm could have come to this beautiful creature of God. He said nothing but moved closer, a little hair falling into his eyes. My breath caught me, moved ever closer. What was happening? Was the man of my dreams really going to do this? Stay tuned for chapter two of The Barn Master and His Maiden.